Hey everybody and welcome to the Google Plus Platform Office Hours. Today it's a special Movember episode. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce our team. I'm Joanna Smith and I'm a Developer Programs Engineer here at Google. Jonathan Barry, I'm a Developer Advocate for Google Plus. Gus Class, and I'm a Developer Advocate for Google Plus. Silvano Luciani, and I'm a Developer Programs Engineer for Google Plus. So I noticed that before we even started, we already had a question on the YouTube page, which was Movember. Jonathan, what do you think you can say about it? Uh, so Movember is a uh, once a year, an annual uh, fundraiser uh, to raise awareness for men's health issues, prostate cancer, testicular cancer. And it starts on November 1st. So uh, guys who can grow mustaches, they shave their face uh, on the 1st. And over the course of the month, they groom their mo uh, to ask for people to ask them exactly what that's about. Um, and of course, there's also Mo sisters who are women who help support the cause as well. And I think last year, uh, cumulatively, they've raised over $300 million uh, for different charities. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there's a couple of cool contributions that we can show from Google. So the first one is a video uh, made from Google Australia. Uh, the movement started in Melbourne in Australia 10 years ago. And this one minute video is giving a summary of what happened in 10 years. All right, let's watch the video. I lost my grandfather to prostate cancer, and I'm growing this mo in memory of him. I'm a mo mentor. Get involved. Grow yourself a mo. That's a cool video. Pretty <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. And um, another cool thing is if you go to movembergames.com, uh, you can find four motion sensing games that will help you get your mustache in shape. Uh, can we show one? Yeah. Yes. So you said motion sensing? Motion games. sensing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it looks like I'm going to have to authenticate to allow the, the camera. What's, so what, do you think some, does anyone know what this is using for? Yeah, it's actually using a, an HTML5 API called Get User Media. It's part of a larger uh, spec called WebRTC. and essentially allows you to get access to the uh, user's camera and audio and do interesting things with it in JavaScript. So it's a, it's a pretty neat application of that API. <laughs> How are you doing, Gus? I'm doing good. Oh, I got to split it. It's really hard to do. And you can't <laughs> breathe when you do it. So yeah. <laughs> it's you really gotta like, you gotta work yeah, I got to practice. You got to strengthen that mo. So that was the lay mo. And then you have the Fu Manchu. And next week and the following week, there will be two other games. Awesome. Uh, another thing is if you go to us.movember.com, you can find the Google networks. And so you can donate to members of Google that are taking part in uh, Movember. Uh, Movember. Uh, but also on the site, you can find maybe your friends or anyone else that is taking part and donate something. And it's a pretty good cause. So definitely go ahead and get growing. It's not too late. And if you're having a little trouble like I am, you can always check out freemustache.com to get a little extra help. All right, so with all of that, we're going to go ahead and begin today's demo, where we're going to show a console starter and then a metro style starter for all of you C Sharp and .NET people out there. Um, and as always, as we're doing this, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on the Google Plus event or on the YouTube page, and we will be monitoring those to help answer them. So Gus, why don't you take it away? Awesome. So yeah, Joanna, thanks for the intro. And um, so I've been working on a couple, I've been working hard on a couple C-sharp starters for all the C-sharp developers out there. And the, uh, the first one I'm going to show is, uh, it's actually a console-based starter. So it's just real basic command line um, built from the Visual Studio uh, default camp command line project. So, if you uh, so if you look at what I'm running here, when I start it up, I've put a breakpoint in. Yes. Gus, Can wait. You zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, zoom out. Yeah. Are you having trouble seeing it? Yeah. yeah. How about now? Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, we're having weird issues with my screen, but we'll work through it. So, so here's the starter, and um, I put a breakpoint on the authentication step. Uh, guys, before going in details into yeah. the OAuth, uh, would you like to give an introduction on developing like console application? Oh sure. So um, developing a console application, you just start with the you just start with the generic uh, template project from within Visual Studio, and um, so when you actually do the new when you do the new project dialog, it will allow you to select various types of, of projects. And the command line project is really a it's a it's one of those built-in templates, so it's it's really easy to to start with. Um, and you can actually so if you're if you're interested in exploring this, um, I'm running I'm running this on a on a on a virtual machine. And the virtual machine has Windows 8 on it, and I've installed um, I've installed Visual Studio onto my virtual machine. Um, so, if you're interested in doing this, if you have Windows already, um, you can go to I believe it's msdn.com, and you can download a free evaluation copy of um, Visual Studio, or you can download a uh, Visual Studio Express, which is free to use as long as you want. Um, Thank you. So yeah, no problem. So uh, so here's a project starter, and um, what I've done is I've I've wrapped a lot of the. There's actually a library that that wraps the uh, the C the, that wraps the Google Plus services within um, within C sharp, and so what I've done is I've basically written a wrapper for that for that service gener or for that the generated classes that um, that manages the way that all those classes work. So here's so here's my starter project running. And when I do, when I perform an authentication step, I um, it'll it'll actually bring up the Google um, the Google authentication dialog within a um, within a new window, assuming everything's okay. And so um, and so here's my my application name one, and I just have it um, getting permissions for my user. And when I say allow access, um, the the application will return an access token. Which then is passed to Google's authentication and C# -sharp li uh, library, and then that can be used to perform um, to perform authenticated queries. So I've also implemented search and activities and commons list, um, but this is probably not as compelling as anything else out there, um, because this is just it's all it is is that the real gist of this project is is that it's a great and easy way to get started with Google Plus if you're already using C# -sharp or if you're interested in doing it with C# -sharp. So. All right, so let's close that one out. And here's another project that I've been working on. Um, this is a Metro starter, and um, and so if and so for this Metro starter, um, what I did was I actually implemented a number of the of the API calls using uh, using the um, using the the XML uh, sorry the um, C sharp base libraries for performing. Uh, JSON and REST requests. Uh, so, I guess um, t can you tell me a little bit more about Metro Style Apps? Yeah, sure. So Metro Style Apps is a, it's a new design philosophy that was introduced with Windows 8, and um, and it's a lot of there's a, there's a, some pillars of of Metro design, and it's kind of, in short it's very simple, very flat UI um, that's um, that's done in a specific way to be um, to be really easy for for users and developers to create with. And if developers are following the Metro style guidelines, then their applications will be very consistent with other applications that exist in the new Windows 8 ecosystem. So one thing is we just got corrected on the Google Plus page. It's like the new terminology is now modern UI instead of oh, Metro modern UI. UI. OK. Um, but Ooh. let's say someone hasn't developed with the modern UI th yet. How does the best way for them to get started with that? Uh, the Windows Developer Center has great getting started documentation, and they cover everything from um, getting Visual Studio up to writing your first app. So. OK, cool, cool. Yeah, that one is msdn.com slash windows slash apps. Slash apps. OK, awesome. So here's my starter project. And what I'm doing here is I put another breakpoint in. Hopefully, you guys can see this OK. And um, so here's so my breakpoint is reached. And I'll try moving this over. Maybe you can see it now. Better or worse? It's running off the edge of the screen, but OK. Well, so, that's my, so what you can see is that um, I've, um, I've, I'm caching a, I'm caching the refresh token, and I'm using this refresh token to uh, to regenerate an access token. But um, this is the first time that I've run the application, so it's going to have to do the, so it's going to use the web authentication broker to generate the to generate the access token and the refresh token on the first run. So when I run it, it should bring up the it should bring up the Google 
um, sign-in dialog as set up through, here we go, right in the middle. So as set up, <coughs> as set up through Windows 8, and then I can just log in. Let's see. And after I log in, it will, um, an access token will be returned from the API, and then that can be used to perform authenticated calls. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to allow it to know who I am on Google+. And then, um, and then so once that code, so the first time an application code is generated, and then this can be used to generate an authentication token. I'm oh, sorry, an access token. This access token can be used for other Google APIs as well, right? If you pass in the right scopes? Uh, yes. And so, yeah. So ultimately, you know, if there's... If there's new if there's new scopes that are that are added, then these scopes can be used for uh, for access. So that's the so that's actually like the the gist of how this works in my demo app. I'm doing the same thing that I did in the console app, where I'm just using the activities API as well as the plus.me scope to retrieve various uh, data from Google Plus. Cool, and and the things like the fonts and the the grid layout that all comes from the modern UI system. Yeah, so if you look at so if you look at the the grid that appears here, this is what's called a grid view, and it uses and it allows you to use templates for rendering uh, those those UI elements, and a, a number of a number of uh, styles such as the animation and the fonts and stuff are actually pretty much preset for you so that it's consistent with the rest of the apps that are out there. Pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyone else have some questions, or should we start looking at the um, public questions? Let's go to the stream. Yeah. Okay, so some things that we got in advance. Um, we had a question from someone named Isabella in a language that I can't actually determine. So I'm going to go ahead and ask um, if you wouldn't mind reposting in either English, Italian, Spanish, or Klingon. Those are the languages that we're qualified <laughs> to like really understand. Um, and if you do, we'd love to answer your question. And then um, we got a question from someone named Edward that says they keep getting an error of page 500, but we're going to need more information, I think, in order to really get what your question is. Um, so the most recent one just came in a few minutes ago from the same person, William, who corrected us on our terminology. Thank you, William. <laughs> he wants to know if anyone has been pursuing a social connector for Google Plus for use in Outlook 2013. And I don't think any of us are really aware of that. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's so, there's nothing that I'm aware of for yeah. uh, for a social connector for Outlook. Um, you could always check our forum though if you want to really see what other people are up to. That's probably the best place for you to connect with other developers for the Google Plus platform, um, and really like ask your questions there and maybe even find people to work with. Yeah, um, and if you have if you have ideas for um, for ways that we could be integration be integrating using a social connector or something, um, we'd love to hear about it, and um, we'd also love to hear if you have. Things that are missing that are preventing you from from being able to develop that. So yeah, if you ever come across something that like, you really need a resource that is holding you up, definitely go ahead and put that into our issue tracker from the developers.google.com/plus page slash support. I think is what it is, and um, we'll definitely go through that and try to get those to the right people and hopefully resolve your problem as soon as we can. Yep. Um, no other questions yet. Do you guys have? Questions so, for Gus? Uh, Gus, how, how easy would it be to take what you've done in C Sharp and move that to the server? Uh, move it to the server side. So the, the work that I've done in C Sharp with the console starter is something that could very easily be repurposed into a server side flow. Um, the, the real key piece is kind of understanding how to use the, uh, the service wrapper that is generated using, um, using the, the, Google, like the, the Google discovery documents and so forth. Um, once you figure that out, then Really, kind of implementing any sort of native C sharp, um, any any native C sharp kind of connectors to Google services is going to be real easy. Um, and but uh, in the case of so in the case of Metro style, it's slightly different because uh, some of the libraries that are used for that service generator are actually replaced with a super kind of a superset of that functionality um, that's built into Metro style. So, for example, uh, parsing JSON. And uh, performing RESTful queries is much easier um, in Metro than it was previously, and so certain libraries have actually been completely replaced and pulled from Windows um, in for for these specific types of apps. So, in order to support that, you have to actually do you have to use the Metro libraries themselves, 
And so that's pretty much what I did in the case of, in the case of my demo app. And so hopefully in the, in the near term, we'll be able to open source that so other people can take advantage of the code that I've already created. Um, but yes, the client, side, the client side flow could pretty easily be apply, applied to a server side flow. And, um, and that's actually going to be one of the next things that I will be looking at. Cool. Um, so Azure in the future, maybe? Ooh, Azure. That's, ah, so that's even further down the line. There yes. you go. A very a complete possibility. And yeah. one thing to take note of is that um, the open source process at Google does take a little while to get through. So if you are looking to get started with a modern UI um, in the very near future, you should always feel free to ask your questions in our forum or on our Google Plus page, because we'd love to try to help you until we can actually get this code up on our site for you to play with on your own. So definitely feel free to ask those questions at any time. Yeah, or yeah, I mean, plus mention me, and I'll and you know directly, and I'd be happy to help you if you have a specific problem that mm -hmm. I may actually have a code solution for, or anything like that. So, and you can always you I'm know always just listening. check out Gus's blog and stalk him there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's got all kinds of C yeah, yeah. .NET knowledge. Yep. Yeah, I've got a. I've been blogging about .NET since what, beta for Windows 8, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> All right, um, I'm not noticing any other questions right now, so I think we can go ahead and call this a nice, short and sweet Google Developers Live presentation. Um, but as always, if you post questions in the next few days, we'll definitely come back and take a look at them. And happy Movember, everybody. Yeah. Embrace the Mo. Thanks for watching. <laughs>